I've got here a new PC that I'm going to do an unboxing of. And the reason I got this PC, and it's kind of relevant also to the YouTube channel, is that I'm going to add it to my sound card because you all at times have a need to use a PC for things like wireless workbench um, that uh, Shure has, or in Electrosonics' case, you've got wireless design of Electrosonics, or just various other software programs you might want to run. Now, I didn't have a laptop, so I could have got myself a laptop. Or I could have got myself just a really, really small PC that I can just fit inside the sound card somewhere and use one of my existing monitors that I will have to monitor the cameras with um, to see their framing as also a computer monitor. I've got sort of a plan in which I can just sort of do picture in picture. So I'll have the picture here, I'll have a little small picture in picture, and I can switch between, or even just completely tab. You know, between them as, as to which picture I'm seeing at the moment in time. Or, you know, I might have two monitors, and if it's only a single camera shoot, I can use one, one for the camera, another one for the PC. Um, so, yeah, I thought that might be another approach to, to doing this, rather than getting a laptop that could, I guess, have some pros and cons that, that might make me consider this instead of a laptop. And so what I've got here is um, a mini PC I got off AliExpress, and you can see here I've it got, it's got in there a Ryzen 5 um, CPU, so it's actually even more powerful than any of my current computers I have at the moment. So, um, in fact, who knows, I might actually make this be my main desktop PC I have um, at home, and maybe I'll use something else on the, on the cart. And it's got 8 gigs of RAM, it's really got a 256 gig sort of state drive. It's got, it's the Ryzen 5 version has integrated graphics and Vega 8. Like by this point in time, you know, integrated graphics is getting to be pretty decent. I mean, I remember playing stuff like Battlefield 1942 on my uh, integrated graphics computer I had back in the early 2000s. Oh my goodness, that was truly, truly terrible. Um, but anyway. Um, we don't really need exactly powerful graphics at all for, for our purposes here. Um, anyway, so I do have maybe a small concern, I haven't used this yet, you know, I'm literally just opening it up now for the first time. I do have a small concern that maybe the fan on it could be too noisy, because obviously it would be a very bad look if the sound department is making noise. Uh, so we don't want us to be noisy, I mean it's bad enough that you have those red cameras making their noise, and you have uh, the Teradex with their fans built into it, and the Atmos monitors with their fans built into it. Like, it just, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, if you're building stuff for the film industry, why isn't it just dead quiet as, as, as it should be? Um, anyway, so yeah, I've, I've got a small concern that maybe the fan in it might be a little bit on the noisy side. But like, from the reviews I read online, this fan inside it should be very, very quiet, but obviously other people reviewing um, how quiet the fans are, they might have a slightly different opinion to myself as to what I think a quiet fan is. I might have quite higher standards. Um, but yeah, potentially I could always just replace the stock fan with something quieter. Um, I could alter the BIOS settings to maybe make the fan one um, at a slower speed um, and just sort of underclock it rather than overclocking the computer. Um, so yeah, there's a few little workaround plans if it doesn't quite turn out to be how I hope. Plus also, with it being Singles Day just the other day, which is basically like Boxing Day and um, Black Friday, um, no, so sorry, what do they call it? Yeah, but Black Friday and Cyber Summer Monday, though, that's a big stuff in America, isn't it? It's like those two rolled into one and like doubled again. Like that's what single stay is if you're like buying stuff from China. Um, so yeah, so I did actually splurge out and bought another even smaller PC. I, um, that might have been bag usable. And I also bought like a, a CPU, a PC that's got no fan whatsoever in it. So it's not as powerful as this, but we don't really need a super powerful one anyway. But yeah, I just thought it might, might give me more options, like if I do need, if I'm doing some kind of work that needs more power, um, or in or an opposite case, if I just wanted to do something that uses less battery power, because obviously this one is fairly good in terms of its battery, of its wattage demands, but it's still, it's going to be um, more hungry than like this other fan, this PC I bought. So 
um, if you want to keep your power consumption down, it's something to be mindful of. Um, anyway, so basically it's just like this little, little very, very small square box. I mean, like I've never owned a desktop PC ever before that's quite this small. Um, and so the idea is I probably could just slide this down the back of a rack case that I would have other stuff in. Because like most of our rack gear is fairly shallow and even if I buy a shallow rack case like I have already, there's still like so much spare space at the back. And so one of these and some batteries could fit in there. Um, so your one slight downside about this though is that this power, it doesn't say on it though, but I remember sort of looking at the specs. And so this DC power port, that is it, that is it, it is, yeah, that's a DC power port. It needs 19 volts, which unfortunately is a little bit different from our normal standard of everything we have that's 12 volts. So I'm buying a 19 volt battery and I'm also going to buy a 12 volt to 19 volt um, sort of converter. So I've got that option as well if I need to run it for even longer than the one battery I'm buying from. And of course I try to run it off AC as much as I can. And um, so yeah, you basically have this on one side nicely stored and then, ah, there we go, there we go, ah, we've got, ah oh, yeah, what country is this for? Definitely not New Zealand. Yeah, I need to use an adapter, but um, yeah, it's just got the standard sort of kitchen jug connector here that will go into the AC power supply and I think on this you can see that it will say 19 volts. So if we look here, um, see 19 volts, uh, 3.4 amps. So yeah, you, you need a 19 volt um, power supply, which is, like I said, I kind of wish it was 12 volts. And that's just like an HDMI cable. Oh yeah, I think this can support like multiple monitors at once. Again, probably not something I'll need, but it's good to have that. So you've got those two, and yeah, just, just those two. And you've got, of course, the LAN connection. You've got two USB 3, two USB 2, another USB 3, another USB, yeah. So, um, yeah, very small, and it's pretty much all there is to say about it. I'll talk a little bit more about this when I've got it. Ah, I'm guessing this is the, yeah, this is the SATA cable, because you do have space to stick in another hard drive inside this. If you want to expand it out from the hard drive that it comes with, which is a solid state drive of 256 gigs. So yeah, if you need more storage space, it's good that you, that's a way you can up, upgrade it. And I think that's really probably the only thing you could easily upgrade because you sort of see through the slots. It's not that much space beyond the space for hard drive in it. Unless you're doing like some little small tweaking swap out like I was saying before about maybe swapping it out for a uh, acquired a fan. Um, yeah, anyway, I just thought I would do that quick update about where some of my thoughts are and what, what's, what new thing has arrived and I'll do some more updates once I get in, getting all this stuff working together. Over and out.